Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be doing something a little different. We're going to be covering a great Hackintosh you can build for under $1500. Since the release of OS 10.8, also known as Mountain Lion, there has been a number of updates for all Hackintoshers, including the introduction of the 6 series NVIDIA cards and the Ivy Bridge platform. This is a perfect time to make a brand new powerful Hackintosh that will handle pretty much anything you throw at it, including video editing and gaming. Do note that prices can change depending on when you watch this video. So without further ado, let's get on with it. For the CPU, we'll be going with the new 3rd generation i7-3770K Ivy Bridge processor. This performs exceptionally well as it comes with the new hyper-threading technology you'd expect from all Core i7 CPUs, as well as the new 22 nanometer technology. At stock, this thing runs at a great 3.5 GHz and will be a great processor for Hackintosh running at just $340. Next up for the motherboard, we're going for the Gigabyte GAZ77X-UD5H. It's a great combo with the new 3770K and has unique features such as the 3D BIOS, Intel Rapid Start and Smart Connect technology and it's also designed for PCI Express 3.0. This motherboard also supports SLI and Crossfire, so it's very much a fully featured pack motherboard, running at $180. Now for the memory, we're going with 16GB of DDR3 memory at 1600 MHz. This will prove very handy when doing heavy rendering or encoding, and will be $124.29. For the case, we're going with a classy and excellent Cooler Master CM692 Advanced case. This case is ideal for our build as it has great airflow and cable management. It also gives you USB 3.0, which is another win. This case is priced at just $90. For our storage, we'll be going with the 1TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive. It has a 64MB cache and is 7200 RPM. This will be ideal for storing our media but will not be used to boot with. This is priced at $95. Now for our graphics card, we're going pretty top end. The pick is the EVGA GTX 670 FTW, which is an amazing card and dominates any game running at the 1920 by 1080 resolution. It is also factory overclocked, which is another plus. With the update of Mountain Lion, we can take advantage of this card, and it is priced at $408. Now, for a boot drive, we're going with the SanDisk Extreme 120GB SSD. We are able to boot Mountain Lion very quickly with this drive and you'll be able to get quick access to anything you store on this at blazing speeds. This of course is optional, but for just $95, this is a great way to go. For our power supply, we're going with the Corsair 650W Enthusiast Series 80 Plus Bronze. This is a great power supply and is priced at just $90. Now, for the CPU cooler, we can go with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. We can overclock our CPU well with this and can pass the 4.0 GHz mark. If you do not plan on overclocking, you can skip this out, as this is another optional part of the build. Now, Last but not least, we have the OS. OS X Mountain Lion, which you can get a copy of through the App Store for $20. If you already have Mountain Lion, this obviously won't matter to you. Now, the grand total is $1,477.29. So, for under $1,500, we have built a killer gaming and video editing machine. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos like this and upcoming Mac tutorials. Cheers.